you were forced to play a game with 99 other people. At the end of the game, one would leave the room alive, while the rest ended in misery. Your fate solely depends on where you sit when the game started. Where will you sit? What's up everyone? Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. And if this is your first time here, welcome and please consider subscribing so I'll be your best friend. Today, we will be talking about a problem that has a really rich history, really famous, first stated 2000 years ago, and it is called Josephus Problem. So here's a setup. There are 100 people sitting around a circle. Let's give them a name, car, number one, number two, all the way to number 100. For simplicity, Let's draw the case when we have just 9 people. Then the game starts with we give a really sharp knife to the person number 1. And the rule of the game is, if you have a knife, you stab the person to your left. I know, very violent. Then you pass a knife to the next person alive. In this case, number 1 will stab number 2 and pass a knife to number 3. <laughs> Number 3 shall keep going, meaning number 3 will step number 4 because there's a person to his left and then pass a knife to the next person alive. <laughs> then the game will keep going until we have one person left and that person is declared the winner. So let's see what happened in this case. 5 equals 6, 7 would have a knife, 7 will kill 8, 9 will have a knife, 9 will kill 1, 9 will pass a knife to number 3, 3 will kill 5, and pass a knife to number 7, 7 will kill 9, pass a knife to number 3, then 3 will kill 7, and he declared a winner. So imagine you're in this game with not 9 but 100 people and you can choose what number you want to be. How would you pick the number so that you will be the winner at the end? So the first step to solve the problem is instead of jump right to what is the winning number, let's think about what number is losing for sure. What number that you do not want to choose. The most obvious number is number 2 because he's the first one who got stabbed, right? Are there any other number that obvious? Well, after 2, 3 would kill 4, 5 would kill 6. So you see the pattern now? You don't want to pick any even number because, because when the knife go through the circle the first round, all the even number will be killed. Here's a question that I want to let you think about this a little bit. So we already know that we should not pick any of the even numbers. So the winning number is one of the odd numbers. Here's my question for you. Is 1 the winning number? And this is a moment that you can pause the video and think a little bit what condition would make 1 the winning number. Alright, and if you think that 1 is not a winning number, then you are correct and here's why. So let's ask this simple question. So after one round, will number 1 get the knife? Or the person to his right get the knife and stab number 1? In the case of 100 people, number 1 get the knife because 100 is even, so he got stabbed, so number 1 got the knife back. Well, so we can ask, when we play the same second round, will he get his knife back? Hmm, this one is a little tricky because we don't see a clear pattern of who got stabbed and who survived. In the first round, all the even number got killed and all the odd number got stabbed. In this case, it's a little unclear, but this is what we can do. We can relabel every number so that we have like number 1 to 50 in this case. And that's tied to the idea of equivalence in mathematics. When we have two objects or two constructions that don't really look the same, but inside they have a nice same structure, we call those two things equivalent. In this case, the game that we go one round, with 100 people is equivalent to the game that we just freshly start with 50 people. Okay, so let's play this game second round. Number 1 will kill number 3, or in other words, newly level 1 will kill newly level 2 and pass the knight to newly level 3. In other words, the second round, anyone who just level even number will be killed. So after the second round, 
people who still survive are people who re-level with odd number. And now, number one, we get the knife back because this guy we got killed and he got the knife back. So we can ask the same question again. After the third round, will number one get his knife back? And same idea, we're gonna re-level remaining numbers, so we have one to whatever number we have left. And in this case, what changed is that one will kill two, three will kill four, or do a two twenty-three will kill twenty-four, pass the knife to twenty-five, and twenty-five will kill one. So no, one is not a winning number. And let's observe a little bit why number one is not a winning number. So the first round we have 100 people, 100 is an even number, so after one round, number 100 will be stabbed and number 1 will get his knife back. So in the second round, we re-level everyone to 1 to 50, newly level 50 is even, so he will be stabbed and the knife will go back to number 1 again. In the third round, we have 1 to 25, now 25 is not an even number, so number 1 will not get his knife back, so he's killed. So in conclusion, number one is not a winner because when we have 100 number, we cannot keep dividing by two until we get one. So one factor we can conclude is that if the number of people is not power of two, like two, four, eight, sixteen, then number one will not be the winner. In this case, 100 is not the power of two. So number one is not a winner. So one we feel two, three we have a knife, Right? So 1 we know we not, it's not a winner, is 3 a winner. So as we might remember from the first analysis, eventually number 3 got killed, right? So um, the answer is no, 3 is not a winner. But let's try to get the answer in a different way. In fact, let's use that equivalence thing again. Right? So number 1 killed number 2 and number 3 got a knife. And let's re-level everything at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rattle number 3 as 1 and every remaining person follow along. Alright, so number 3 has a knife, so we call him number 1. So this game where we start with 100 people, one person got killed, is equivalent to you start the game with 99 people. So is number 3 a winner? The answer is no, because 99 is not a power of 2. Number 9 is not even an even number. So number 3 is not the winning number. Let's try again for number 5. Is number 5 the winner? Well, let's find out by re-level everything. Alright, so we have something like this. 5 has a knife. So we re-level everything, 1, 2, 98, we get 98 easily, simply because we start with 100, 2 people got killed, so we have 98 left. And is 5 the winner? The answer is no, because 98 is not a power of 2. Alright, so we can keep playing this game until we find the winner, and the first time we'll see the winner is when we have a power of 2. Now we can ask ourselves, if we keep the, playing this game and we keep re-level everything, when will be the first time that we will see power of 2? What is the largest power of 2 less than 100? Is 2 to the 6 is 64. That's a fact that is really important. When there are 64 people left, that's when the person with a knife is the winner. Let's think about it why it's true. So you have a knife with 64 people left, after one round, you have 32 people left and you get a knife back. Then after the second round, you have 16 people left and you get a knife back. And then you have 8 people, you get a knife back. You have 4, you have 2, you get a knife back. You stab that last person, then you are the winner. Alright, so now we reach a point that we want to know what happened when there are 64 people left. Well, if there are 64 people left, then 36 people are killed, right? Because there are 64 alive, so 36 people went down already. The funny part is we can identify those 36 people precisely who they are because, because they will be the first 36 even numbers. They are 2, 4, 6, until what? Until 36 times 2, right? So it's 72. So what happened is 1 kills 2, 3 kills 4, 5 kills 6, all the way to 71 kills 72, 
pass the night to 73. All right, so what happened at the end is 71, Q73, then pass the night to 73. And when 72 was killed, 36 people were killed, so 64 people left. Number 73 has a knife when there are 64 people left, so he is the winner. So that's all I want to talk about today. 73 is the winner, so there you are. Alright, so that's all I want to talk about today. I wish this video helped you survive the next time you play this game. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I answer every one of your questions. And for today, thank you for watching. My name is Kuang, and you're watching Enthusiast.